everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski, and it's an electric crowd here to cheer on the team back on the ice tonight. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. The Ducks will start with the puck as they win the opening faceoff here. Moves around along the half wall. Great stop by Brasic. Sends a pass over. A chance! And he'll hang out of the puck for a much needed whistle. Well, and this is huge, James. The ability to slow the game down, get a line change. There's no one happier than the coach right now. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And a great save! Sends it on the front! Moves it again! Oh, and he comes up with a stop! We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. They'll be looking to keep that momentum going here in the face-off. After that last shift change where they really press, they want to continue right there, get pucks to the net because this goaltender will not want to battle net front. He's outworked already. Anna Hines got the puck here in the open ice. Oh, great play to sidestep the poke check. Anna Hines got the puck against the half wall. Quick pass to Bedard. Feeds the puck to Bertuzzi. Great heads up play by the defender. Quick pass over to Johns. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Quick shot. to start this one. James, they're emotionally charged as they're at home, they're playing their opponent, and they started right from puck drop, and that emotion was transferred or channeled into their feet because they've been all over the ice with their legs under them. Passes it over! Dishes it off! Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there! Scrum along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Brody. Puck grabbed by Campbell. Looks to pass it to Hensus. He looks like he's playing with a little more confidence tonight, and he's looking for his first NHL goal. He's possessing the puck, and he's driving lanes. He's bound to get one. Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. What a horrible play on. It was that close. The Ducks recognize that they have the lead, but also you don't get tons of great looks in a game, and this one is a missed opportunity as the puck goes off the frame and out. And somehow he hangs on. Moves the puck over to Dickinson. Takes the pass. Stops him cold. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be to task and kill this off. It's the first penalty kill of the night for this team, and they won't let that knock their confidence. We know their penalty kill unit is ranked toward the bottom of the league. It's something they've been actively working on to improve. So let's see if any of their improvements show up tonight. And manages to clear the zone. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. The Ducks have possession shorthanded. Trying to clear. Gets it out of his own end. Retrieves the puck trying to kickstart this power play. The Blackhawks cross the line and gain the zone. And he slides it quickly to Richards. Sends it in on the attack. Forces the turnover. And now it's grabbed by Bedard. Handles the puck. Chicago's on the attack. Hard hit, frees up the puck. And they manage to clear it. Frustrating for that first unit not to be able to capitalize on the power play, but here comes the second unit. There's still time on the clock to be able to get one on the board. Puck's then down the ice. 
Chicago's got it in their own zone. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. The Ducks have been stealing pucks all game, and when you intercept passes and you find ways to get your sticks in lanes, you typically find a way to possess the puck, but they've got to open it up here. This game's awfully tight. Bufflin's got the puck in his own zone. And a successful clearing attempt. And here's a cross-corner dump-in. And it's kicked away. Skips out of the battle along the boards, and here we go. Sends it over to Michael. Moves it to Johns. The Blackhawks gain possession in their own end. Powers almost out of the box. Back to the point it goes. And that shot gets caught in traffic. The Blackhawks get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Well, that's a missed opportunity, James. An opportunity to get the equalizer on the power play. Now down by one at even strength. They're going to have to find a way to muster up some energy. That one was deflating. Gains the zone from the right side. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. The Ducks have been the dominant team here midway through the first period, and they lead it. That's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Sends it into the offensive zone. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Here's a rip. Too much traffic in the lane. Across the line, down the left wall. Keeps it out, got a piece of it with the trapper. Shakes off the defender with some nifty moves. Keeps a hold of the puck. And that goes off a player. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Slides it over to Sharp. Fires it on net. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Slides it across to Nash. Receives the pass. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Yolmerson. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Pass across to Nash. Chicago's got the puck now. Knocked away with the stick by Faber. Slides it over with pace to Rossi. And now he moves it to Silverberg. Slides it back to the blue line. Here's a blast! Makes the glove stop. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. More than half the frame has been played here. The Ducks lead it 1-0. Chicago's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Polino. Puts it on net. Comes up with the stop. And he loses control here. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Good hit to knock the puck loose. And now it's over to Dickinson. Fires it, and there's a club save on the play. Anaheim's been playing in one direction all night, and that's towards the net, and they lead here late in the first. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Pushes it across to Michael. Poked away by Seabrook. And that doesn't reach the net. Bertuzzi's moving the puck through his own zone. Puck clears the zone and they'll be forced to regroup. Here's a short pass to Michael. Anaheim's got the puck in the corner. Quick pass across to Power. Oh, what a save with the club by Brasic. Here in the late going of the frame, Anna hypes up one zip. Michael's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. The Blackhawks scoop it up along the boards. Quick feed to Bertuzzi. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And here comes the judgment from the official. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one goal deficit. And you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. The first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Quick pass to tip it. Anaheim's got the puck against the boards. Center and feed! 
Takes himself free. And there's the save on the play. Sends it quickly to Silverberg. Cuts to the point. Oh, a clutch save. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. Won the face off here in the offensive zone. Oh, hey. Score! Score! Power play goal! The successful power play is all about getting the PK to move, and that's exactly what they've done with their motion and their switching up positions here, James. They got the look they wanted, and they finished it off. This power play goal is a result of the face off. I mean, winning possession right away, knowing exactly where that puck is going to go, reading the coverage perfectly for that goal. Shots on net. Good hit on the play. Jostled off the puck. From the place 99 made famous. Inside the final minute of the first here. Chicago's got possession of the puck. Pokes the puck away. Takes a walk but still hangs on. Anaheim's gained possession. Favors taking it from his own end. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. There's the buzzer. 20 minutes in the books. Second period just around the corner. lead. Chicago's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. And some good footwork to kick it away. Moves it to Jones. Chicago's got it against the boards. Put the hard hat on here. What a hit. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. The Blackhawks have it behind the net. He got all of that hit. Puck picked up by Hall. Moves it quickly over to Richards. Moves the puck along the half wall. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. That's moved up ahead. Oh, great use of the body on the play. Takes a shot. And he shuts the door on that. Takes the feed from his own end. Great vision to see that stretch pass. Tremendous save by Brasic. <laughs> Anaheim's been rewarded for putting pucks on net here early in the second. Richards has won the draw. They'll go to work offensively. Stars off the post and in. Well, that's a real sneaky one that pulled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one perfectly executed. Well, this goal is evidence how critical faceoffs are, and this is a clean win, a set play, actually, and it's just an explosive one timer that beats the goaltender clean. Zone, but 
It starts in the defensive end, too, Cheryl. Yeah, as a former defender, I'd say it always starts there. I mean, it's got to be 200 feet in a complete game. And when you look down this lineup and you look on the ice, it starts right from the goaltender and works its way all through the offensive zone. Made that stop. He's so fast, he's strong, but he can turn on a dime. And if he turns and you're just a step behind him, guess what? You're not getting back in, and he's going to take it to the paint. Looks to get the puck over to Niskanen. Here's a short pass to Silverberg. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Moves the puck. Richards plays it now. And Skilled uses a stick to poke the puck away. Reads the play and forces the turnover. Great reach with the poke check. Slides it quickly to Darlene. Anaheim's had a tremendous game so far, James. They've owned puck possession. They've been dominant in the offensive zone, and they're not afraid to attack the net. It's a lot of fun when you can play this way. Reads the pass perfectly and picks it off. The Ducks are dominating play, and in my opinion, James, this all starts to work away from the puck. When you close quickly, you retrieve it first. They've done an excellent job of that, and it's gone the other way, and they've cashed in. Picked up along the boards by Brody. Feeds it over. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Loses his balance on the play. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. Slides it across. There's a collision. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Answered the call there. This is just great puck control to put the puck to the corner. No second shot opportunity. Moves the puck across to Yolmerson. Anaheim's ready to go on the attack. Here they come on the attack. Snagged with the glove by Brasic. The Ducks have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Martinez crosses the line and is on the attack. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps them at bay. Don't forget to join us coming up next home game. It's Scarf Night. The team's giving away souvenir scarves for free. Just jump on board, make sure you got your tickets, and we'll see you then. And that puck leaves the zone. Scooped up along the wall by Seabrook. The Blackhawks take it along the wing. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Johns. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. And that's poked away by Martinez. Oh, this has turned into demolition. Derby night after that collision. gone by hope you're enjoying this one it has been a one-sided affair three nothing is where we sit Here's a shot! Oh, Trevor saved by Brassic! 
Well, another sellout here inside the arena tonight. And Cheryl, I got a question for you. You know who likes a winner? Everyone Everybody likes the winner. winner. Yeah. I think I have that tagline, no problem. And this entire building loves a winner, and that's why they're here. They've been following their team who's been doing so many things well, in particular their energy and dictating the pace right from the get-go. You can feel it. It's electric and passionate in here. Passes it over! And he's got the answer for that one. Richards is all around the puck, or the puck is all around him. Look at it whichever way you want, but when you have a point streak going, it tends to follow you around. Anaheim's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Chicago's gonna start with the puck in their own end. Jostling for the puck, but still moves away. Throws it in. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he takes the dish. Puck scooped up by Campbell. Strong defensive effort. Taken along the wall by Silverberg. Shot, and scores! Well, hands, hands, and more mitts on that play. Magic mitts, James, and you know it is so difficult to bend when you pull the puck in tight to your feet, and man, this was a clinic. But after the deep, the ability to finish too, all the way around, textbook. But we all know that he's got great hands, James. The way the puck moves on his stick, it's like on a string, but it's also his awareness, the way he stands, and how he knows how to manipulate and create space for himself. That's how he gets himself to the net, and then he finishes it off by beating the goaltender. Anaheim's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. Taken by Niskanen. That's set a race now. He grabs the puck. Taken by Dolly. And it's a quick pass to Brink. Anaheim's moving it into the offensive end. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Denies him, he got all of it. Hits it in front, and that's stopped. Takes the feed. And now he tries to get it across to Sharp. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Wrist one in front, denies him in close. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Here in the late goings of the period, Anaheim's clicking on all cylinders tonight. They've added to the lead and this is a total rout. Quick feed to Michael. Here's an odd man rush. Takes a shot. And he hits one of his own teammates with that shot. Turns it away. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. What goes up makes the save. And Hunt's offense has been in full effect tonight as they continue to lead late in this second period. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. Michaels gaining momentum. Chicago's got possession at center. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. He got all of that hit on the play. Handles the puck at the point. Oh, and he has the answer there with a fantastic stop. Chris is in such great position. He's able to redirect that puck to safety right to the corner. There's the horn bringing period number two to an end. 40 minutes down, 20 to go. Third period action is coming up. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. You know you weren't going to miss this third period. Sabalski, pounder, ready to bring in the action. Here we go. Third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Well, pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Chicago's looking a little frustrated here, James, and I understand why. Listen, you have a ton of great A scoring chances. You're playing really well. You're opening up lanes. You just can't find the back of the net. This is when you have to trust your habits, stick with the game plan, and you'll find a way to put it by. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Ducks have been the busier team offensively, and as a result, they lead it big time here in this third. Anaheim's got it in the defensive zone. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Quick pass to Faber. Takes the shot, denies him on the play. Directed over to Bertuzzi. Handles the pass. Still has possession. On 
and loads one. Chris has been able to watch the game for most of the night from the other end because of the offensive production in the offensive zone, James. But he's a real good job there. Timing is everything. Staying focused, tracking the puck, and making a good save at the right time. Anaheim's got the lead early in the third period. They have been the far busier team offensively tonight. Richards wins the draw. They'll look to set up here offensively. Picked off. Down the right side and into the zone. And he's ridden off the puck. Takes the return feed. Here's a chance. And the save. And the puck's knocked loose. Battle along the board. Dishes it off. Moves it to Hensus. Chicago's through center and now in the offensive end. The Ducks gain control of the puck. And they go back on the attack in the offensive zone. And that's broken up. Richards carries the puck in his own zone. They've got some momentum here. Oh, what a save with the club by Razzik. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. Anaheim's laying up pound in the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Nice job tying up his opponent. Sends the pass over. And he takes the pass. Big time stop there. Picked up along the wall by Campbell. Puck grabbed by Brody. Dickinson's lugging the puck. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Good read with the stick to break that up. To the low side. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the glove by Mrazek. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Ducks came to play, and boy, did they ever, leading 5-0. Chicago's taking possession in their own end. Moves the puck to the attacking area. The Ducks gain possession. Favors got it in the defensive end. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Moves the puck to Hall. The Ducks have it now. Headman pass. Puck dumped in. Moves with the puck at the corner. And he slides it quickly to Faber. Gray uses the stick in the defensive end by Hall. Nash has got it along the wing. And that slides right out to center ice. Grabbed along the board by Faber. And now he moves it quickly to Johns. Big play inside the defensive zone. Takes the feed. With possession along the wall. Slides it diagonally to Johns. Oh, and a huge save. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Vancouver's up next, and no love lost between these two sides. A few tickets still available, I'm told, so you better get them before they're gone. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes the feed from the left side. Poked away in the defensive end. Keeps control of the puck after taking a little knock. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Fantastic save! Chris is aggressive and at the top of his crease and makes an outstanding save from the slot. That was amazing! What a save by Morasic! As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control. It makes your life so much easier. There's another for the hit parade. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves it quickly over to Tippett. Denied by the goaltender. Chicago's looking to break out. The Ducks have layered well today and really protected their goaltender who's seen everything. They're so close to the shutout. Yes, it's a superstition, but this team has played so well defensively. It's not just a goaltender stat, it's a team stat. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Oh, it's so good. Center for the right wing. That's blocked by Rasek. And we'll get the whistle after. 
after the goaltender hangs on. Anaheim's had a lot of success tonight on their scoring chances, and look at the result here late in this third period. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Puck is grabbed here at center ice by Dickinson. Steps inside. And now it's grabbed by Yalmerson. Feeds the puck over to Jones. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Now over to Foligno. From the left side, they gain the zone. Puck picked up by Foligno. Comes up with the stop. Picked up along the boards by Foligno. Steps into it. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. Foligno's been all around the net. It's what he does best, but he hasn't found a way to cash in. This is extremely frustrating for himself and the team when you get these golden opportunities and you don't put it in. Angles it over to Hosa. Slides the puck across to Jones. Inside of the final minute here in the third. The Ducks have it now. Fires it into the offensive zone. Tries to feed it over to Hosa. And he serves it across to Brody. The Blackhawks carry it along the wall. Oh, the ref didn't like that whack. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. That penalty's gonna seal the deal here, James, late in the third. There's no runway left to get back on the board. that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. You're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Looks to make a play over to Richards. Handles the puck from the left side. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard-fought effort this evening. Good night.